Hi friends, on this Christmas Eve, yet again far from our sanctuary, I invite you to join me in spirit and let us journey together to Bethlehem. Let us ponder the ancient story that captured and ignited the imaginations of so many across the generations. Let us ponder this story afresh. Let us stop in awe before the young woman and witness her chutzpah in her ability to reframe her dire situation and open herself up fully to God in love, trusting the promise that God is being born in and through her with her willing and joyful participation into the human reality. Let us admire the courage of the young men who dare to say no to social conventions and affirm that compassion is more important than the desire to be right. And let us stand in awe before this God who chooses to be born into the midst of ordinary lives, in the lives of people like Mary and Joseph, away from the seats of power, instilling the promise yet again that the vision that God desires for all humanity, this vision sung by the prophets, is to become reality through them, through their participation, through their partnering with God. This vision of a world where there is no more strife and conflict, no more pain, no more betrayals, where forgiveness and love and mercy abound, where new beginnings are possible, where humans find ways to live and work with each other, find ways to be creative together in ways that are wholesome. Where all creation joins into song because we have discovered our deep interconnectedness. Friends, as we ponder the story of Christmas, we are reminded that we are part of this larger story it's an ongoing story for the God who came into human life 2,000 years ago is still coming even into your and my life, even now, inviting us to respond. Mary and Joseph show us how to follow God's guidance in spite of our fears and our apprehensions, how to take risks to follow God's lead on this journey towards this new world that is being born even now in our midst. I know that our world is not at peace and it's not silent and we carry so many fears and questions about what tomorrow holds. But friends, I'm reminded of another Christmas Eve in December of 1989 in my hometown of Sekai Udvarhe, Romania. We were standing on the city square Thousands of people gathered just merely two days after the communist dictatorship has fallen. We were joining into song, celebrating the gift of Christmas, befuddled by what a world beyond communism could even be. What a world away from tyrannical leadership and an oppressive system would look like, whether it could even be true. Yet as we joined our voices together singing the songs of Christmas, as we joined with the choirs of angels, we somehow heard 
do not be afraid and found hope and the courage to move on. Today, as we celebrate Christmas, may we hear again this promise that the Christ who came into the world 2,000 years ago is coming into our lives, that God is with us even now. May we welcome the God wanting to be born in our lives. May we allow it to take hold inside our hearts, may it open our imagination to a world that can be possible, and may we take the risk to live and work and celebrate in ways that shares this love and this vision with all around us in this coming year. Let us celebrate that God is with us. May we move forward in hope and joy and love and peace. Merry Christmas, friends. Peace be with you.